my name is Christine and welcome to my vlog. So in today's video, I will be sharing to you the 20 most asked questions about my life here in Canada. I have divided this video into three parts. First is the personal background, second is permanent residency life, and third is the work life. First question in the personal background um, criteria is the name origin and current location so my name is christine casales Pinoy po ako. i'm based here in ottawa i've been living here in canada for almost three years now i was based in uh, dubai or in the uae before coming here in canada the second question is when did you move to canada we moved here in canada on june 29 2018 i was with my family um i have my husband with me and my daughter who was three years old at that time so why canada where um, we've decided to relocate here in ottawa which is the capital of canada simply because it's a win-win situation in terms of the quality of education and um, the quality of life second of course is the future of my daughter our taxes goes to the government but at least we feel that um, meron po itong purpose like na libre po sa school ang not li not really say libre because we pay the taxes but somehow tuition fee we don't pay any tuition fee um, and uh, magsisave lang kami for my daughter for her university or college years but nevertheless it's always the quality of life and siguro the third uh, reason would always be equality actually dito sa Canada ang napansin ko pa, you don't feel right away kung meron bang mahirap talaga or merong mayaman kasi lahat ng tao dito is just really treat, treated equally so which means that people kahit hindi ka naman talaga maraming money or, or savings pwede ka pa rin makakuha ng house ng car loan so it was really like it's it's so easy to to pursue your priorities here once you really settled your life here in Canada another question from one of our subscribers is what's your immigration pathway well my immigration pathway i wa i have applied directly from dubai but we went through a consultant that agency was based in quebec that time pathway po namin is um, express entry program so we, it took us probably one and a half year to receive our permanent residency so eh, we were just fortunate because we have received a provincial nomination from ontario so that's why it speed up the process of coming here so magastos po ang express entry but i really find it uh mas mabilis i don't know now because it's pandemic i heard it it became you know very slow but um certainly lang kami that time kasi na nauna kaming dumating dito before or magkaroon ng pandemic. So the second criteria naman, uh, um, which Daddy? is the... <laughs> Have you seen Daddy? <laughs> Asensya na, masyado siyang madaldal, okay? The second um, part of this video is about uh, life here in Canada as a permanent resident. Like what I've said in my past videos, in transition here, it's not that easy, pero uh, we kind of, you know, I'm happy to say that we're so um, grateful and fortunate now we have survived. The, I, I would always say that first six months, mahirap talaga. Because you have to find your, you know, you have to find yourself again. Like you're, you're doing it, you're doing everything from scratch. So finding a job. So within six months, we were able to pull off everything. Another question is, um, do we rent or own a house? Of course, when we moved here, we just rented a townhouse. And after a year, I actually last year, nung nag start yung pandemic, that's the time that we uh, we were fortunate to buy our own home. We're no longer renting, we're no longer paying the, the, the rental, but we also pay for the mortgage. So at least, diba, in return, meron kaming bahay kahit nagbabayad kami every month. The next question is, do I drive or commute? Well, in my case, I have a student's license. I was supposed to get my road test last year, pero inabutan po tayo ng pandemic. So, all road tests, eh, wala po akong makuwang schedule. And um, unfortunately, 
passenger lang ako for now but I I can now drive but I have to be with uh, with my husband each time I I need to drive so hopefully fingers crossed matapos ni pandemic so I can really drive on my own and gain my freedom so the next question is how was the weather so uh, of course each provinces or every province here has different kind of weather but I'll be just basically focusing uh, in Ottawa what I could say about the weather is huh, <laughs> Very, it's quite extreme in a way. I don't know. Maybe because of the winter. So yung winter ko dito from my in my first year back in 2018, it was just so crazy, very harsh. Imagine coming from Dubai, which which is very hot. Then suddenly I have to move here. Na super cold naman. I think the as far as I remember, ang pinaka malamig na na pinaka malamig na weather that I have encountered here was probably I think minus 23 degrees celsius or yeah was minus 37 pa nga pero i don't know maybe that time i was hiding under my bed <laughs> under my sheets because i'm freaking scared with winter so yun ang pinaka that that was in 2019 2018 so that was my first winter na very traumatizing for me as an asian as a pinay especially but then again in 2019 and the 2020 super naging nice ang weather mabait sa amin ang winter it wasn't really harsh it was manageable and but but the only sad part we had the pandemic so hindi ko masyadong na enjoy ang mga winter activities during those years and yeah so that's that's the weather but during summer naman dito super okay super happy kami pag summer dito and spring autumn talagang may four seasons kami dito and i think one of my favorite would always be autumn because napakaganda it was so beautiful you have seen that in my past videos so another another question about living here in canada as a pr um very intriguing question for so many people but it really depends case to case basis is that is it hard to make friends um is it hard to make friends I would give you probably yung yung different perspective for for this question. Siguro, for me personally, um, kind of difficult to connect. Connect in a way because yung mga tao dito when they're very they're very focused then with 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 their work. So meron sila so syempre busy sila with their own uh, you know with their own jobs and then at the same time pagkatapos ng work diretso agad sila sa families nila so parang hindi ka to sa Philippines or sa or for probably sa Dubai yung after work we will gonna be hanging out you know we're gonna have do we're gonna do some karaoke or you know you all those you know all those fun stuff but here hindi parang pansin ko sa mga nag sa mga naging work ko rin is pag sinabing after work once you're done at your work talagang uwi diretso sa house hindi masyadong nag-hangout walang mga hindi masyadong nagtatambay sa mga Starbucks or coffee shop siguro it it really depends but in my experience that's what happened to me but of course I've made some friends dun sa dati ko ring work and until now we we still communicate you know hirap lang kasi pandemic you don't really see uh, people talaga pero siguro din making friends in our neighborhood I think um, it was also um, I'm also very um, probably grateful because the first uh, the first house that we had here yung yung rent naming house sa kabilang street lang yun um, yung, yung mismong neighbor namin they had invited us to spend the dinner with them imagine for the first uh, week namin doon na wala kaming kakalala they just came to our house knocked our door and invited us for a very lovely dinner so that's how they make friends and then yung isa rin namin neighbor uh, we were able to get you know to have that connection right away because meron kaming mga kids na they, uh, we have our kids were friends so that was really nice but but still, it's a different kind of perspective. I would say, yun talagang sinasabi ko established relationship na tipong kaya mo mag-share ng secrets mo or your ongoing struggles. Hindi masyado. Parang hindi, mas mas nagagawa ko yun sa mga friends ko who were based in in Philippines or yung mga dating friends ko rin na nasa Dubai. So, but here it's quite different. People are, I, I would say that Canadians, the typical, uh, um, you know, they're very friendly, um, very but, but they're very also reserved in a way na hindi sila bas basta nag-open up about their personal lives. Unlike sa mga Filipinos, diba, parang minsan pag we feel comfortable with someone, we all, we already, you know, give our trust, we usually tell about our life na. So, 
medyo hindi ganun dito. Medyo reserved sila. And, um, mahilig din sila sa mga small talks, which is, um, hindi ako masyadong marunong sa mga ganun. Parang here, parang kailangan, pag nakita mo sila, hello, how was your day? Parang ganun. So, unlike sa Pilipinas, di ba, parang hindi hindi ako naging ganun sa mga dati kong colleagues. Parang you just say hello, but he never asked for the day. You know, he never asked. So, small talks, hindi, yun, I need to I need to learn on it uh, eventually. So, now we're moving on to the work life. Okay, work life category. I have received a lot of questions about this. And uh, yeah, would love to share. I'm very excited to share all my experiences about this um, particular topic. So first, the question is, is it hard to find a job in Canada? Hmm. Really depends. Maybe for, for other people, it's a yes. For other people, no. But in my own experience, I would say it's a no. I kind of pre-planned, but of course, mahirap din. My work right now here, um, bago ko siya nakuha talaga, yung, dream, yung kind of dream job ko is, it took me a while. So, I would say na, I I tried to be more somehow creative when in, in terms of um, looking for a job. So, I started first um, working for, um, applying for a manpower agency, and that manpower agency gave me this contractual job. They really endorsed me to work for reputable companies here in Canada, which gave me a big stepping stone. So what was your first job here in Canada? Well, my first job here in Canada, I cannot remember how the title, but I used to be an exam production coordinator but it's more of like an admin job but yun lang yung title niya but it was um, in a in a non-profit organization but it was very good actually I am very proud of it because it's one of the uh, you know pinaka isa sa mga top companies here in Ottawa so I'm very much privileged I'm the only Pinay Pinoy only Filipino to work on that company and happy naman ako na like it really gave it really brought me somewhere na Nasaan ako right now. So, what's your current job? Yes, what's my current job? Woohoo! Uh, very interesting topic. So, now I just finally, um, I'm now working on the kind of job that I really wanted to pursue. Dalawa lang naman yung pinaka parang ev- evolvement ng uh, yung evolution evolvement evolution ng 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 mismo naging career ko so i work um in marketing so malaki so sobrang tagal ko sa marketing and then the second time i try to shift into recruitment so talent acquisition so at least it still involves a communication or meeting new people so when i moved here i decided not to pursue marketing anymore because i feel here in ottawa people who are in marketing um, I think they have an edge if you're bilingual, but I don't speak French, kaya sabi ko, what else I can do? So, I really wanted to pursue another passion, which is into recruitment or human resources, but it took me a while, because sometimes they ask for those certain certification, you know, parang ang dami pa rin, napaka-competitive din ang market, so, for me, not really even a, a native speaker, that was my insecurity. However, I said, okay, I'm gonna work for, some, for like an admin position first, and then later on, I, I was uh, able to um, pagsabayin yung school and then yung work. So I was like I took online part-time studies about human resources uh, management. So it that gave me a, a, an edge to apply to be more confident uh, to, to land a role in recruitment and human resources job. And yeah, so now I'm working as a um, people operations coordinator it's more of recruitment and operations then so it's a it's a very complex and unfortunately nakabalik ako dun sa first company ko na sobrang maganda and they hired me as part of their hr na so i'm working for them as a part of the hr team Woohoo! is your job related to your studies um of course but yeah, of course, um, mass communications, um, major in broadcasting. So my first job, of course, in the Philippines back, 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 uh, three years ago, whatever, um, I was working for media, ABS-CBN, oh, Kapamilya. So <laughs> I used to work for them. Life is full of, you know, surprises. So you just, you know, whatever the, whatever life throws you, throws at you, then you just have to keep moving forward. So most especially here in the Canada, it's difficult not to have a job. I was like kind of worried because 
I'm afraid that I'll be working for service in industry jobs like for example yung mga, yung mga coffee shops mga food industry I have nothing against them it's just like yung, yung, I know myself na hindi ko kaya tagalan physically yung mga ganong work and since I have a child I need to have a work life balance which I had now dahil nakuha ko din yung pinaka parang isa sa mga dream job ko where did you study? well I am a graduate of Centro Escolar University in Manjola, Manila Woohoo! and um, yeah but now I'm currently a student in Algonquin College and I'm taking up Human Resource Management dito sa Canada you can still go back to school and they don't care even you're already a mom or you're even a you know adult student they wouldn't care because for them they encourage people to really study and plus if you're a PR here kagaya sa case ko I didn't pay any tuition fee for my college now of course the other way is student loan the government will provide you money to you know to to finance your studies but me I never applied for that because I yeah, yeah, yeah. ako sa utang <laughs> so for me it's like I took the advantage of um, student grant so instead they gave me an allowance and because I have my job I have my salary like I don't really need to make utang make utang for for my own school so that was it and um, how much was your first salary? Uh -huh. So my first salary here in uh, here in Ottawa, I was earning, I remember twenty two dollars per hour, which is really good. Because the minimum dito sa Canada is just like fifteen dollars. So yeah, yun yung parang pinaka usually uh, personal questions. So I hope you got some inspirations and I, I hope that na motivate ko rin kayo as a PR so I think this video is not only meant for PRs I think it's only also good for you know for students or for people who ha who didn't even know where to start all you have to do is simply dream for it and do something about it bonus question which is any tips hmm. and daming tips pero siguro pwedeng isa lang um, for those who wanted to really come over here no, kailangan yun ng savings kailangan yung masustain yung finances kasi if you don't have money unfortunately may hirapan kayo to come over here yeah unfortunately that's the sad truth anything na, that involves immigration would always require some money of course meron tayong tinatawag na mga show money like sa express entry and of course yung money na kailangan nyo once you get here of course you have to start from scratch and uh, you have to finance yourself and as a family you know we're a family of three when we came here so kailangan we have to you know make sure na kaya nami mag survive at least for the first three to six months so that's what happened so yung initially yung pinagtrabawuhan namin uh, within 10 years what? in Dubai lahat yon yeah. we just gave it up for Canada so <laughs> yeah so when we came here talagang uh, you have to be you have to humble yourself you know start from from nothing and just you know and then now I'm happy na lahat ng patience ng chaga ng, ng hard work lahat ng prayers nagbigay ng fruit of our labor so yeah so i hope um every one of you who wants to really come here have learned something from our story and please make sure to like and subscribe the video and also you know um, hit the notification bell so um mas makita nyo pa yung mga next episodes ko on time and for those people na hindi pa subscribe please make sure to subscribe on this channel and you learn a lot because whatever I say in my channel in all my episodes lahat po yun is galing from my own experience and this would I just really want to help people in a way through sharing my experience hindi po ako maramot sa advices and makikita nyo po yan sa lahat ng mga naging episodes namin so um, keep safe everyone and hope to see you soon bye bye